Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode we fought a short boss battle and afterwards we found out the truth about Dodge's son in the incident at Yurde that Vanille was actually the one responsible for her and Pen. So after uh, they broke the news, Vanille went off running and crying and Saz was left to decide the fate of Vanille. So before we ran on and chased after Vanille, we backtracked to the save point and I finished up my grinding. So I ma managed to uh, max out all of the current roles for Saz and I've completely maxed out his Crystarium Stage 6 with all rolls. And also I grinded and managed to get about 10,553 CP. So, so that the next time the Crystarium expands, he'll have a little bit of a head start. So with all that taken care of, let's go ahead and proceed after Vanille. So just ahead, we will run into Vanille. Why did I even try to run? What was waiting wasn't something I could change. You are cold-blooded. <gasps> Lying so people would trust you. Using them as shields. How many you gotta drag down with you? I'm... A coward and a killer. The people you use don't get to live. Why should you? <laughs> Tired of living with guilt? Then die with it. My name is Erba Dia Vanille. I'm a lassie from Grand Pulse. And to everyone on Cocoon, evil. Shoot me for your son. Don't you even! You think you die and that's that? Hmm? You think you die and everything will be sugar and rainbows? Then what can I do? What do you want from me? If I can't live or die, what do you want me to do? Don't ask me. You figure it out. I don't know! <laughs> Neither do I. It's over. There's nothing to do. Shooting you won't help. Neither will living. It's not over. 
want me? Come and get me! Alright, so after the awesome scenes, you'll be in your next Eidolon battle. Alright, so as the battle begins, go ahead and switch over to uh, Ty Turner. Doom will be cast on Sazzy. So first off, have Saz cast haste on everybody, while Neil debuffs the boss. If you need to heal, use potions. Once everyone's buffed no, up, stop. switch over to War and Peace so that Vanille can heal. If you need to, go ahead and Libra the boss. But the best way to, real, to raise his guest a lot gauge is to switch to dual casting. This is gonna stay. And really shock it to the boss after your characters are fully buffed up. Drops down low, go ahead and switch back to War and Peace so that the Neo can cure. And then switch immediately back to Dual Casting. This is gonna stay. Then alternate between the two different paradigms. attacking the boss with uh, dual casting paradigm and once you fill that guest a lot gauge go ahead and press X to claim the reward that's right let's do it Alright, so for winning the battle, you'll get the Bry Hindler Idolock. Also, Saz's ATV gauge will increase to 4. like his you don't forget
Do be careful with those. For every task, there's a perfect tool. All of Cocoon was against us. With us dead, they were sure everything would go back. Back to the way it was before. Alright, so after the scene, you'll be prompted to save your game. There she is, the Palamethia, pride of the Sanctum Skyfleet. This mighty flagship currently serves as a prison for the Lassie apprehended in Nautilus. So what's with the freak show? So the Primarch can stand in judgment of the villainous Lassie. With their execution as the climax, the people will cheer their demise, and Falci Dominion will be undisputed. All part of the plan? Yes, but it also presents an opportunity. In a display of unwavering dedication to duty, Primarch himself has boarded the Palamecia and focused his personal attention on resolving the Pulse Crisis. They're baiting us, trying to draw us out. Bait, huh? Yeah, that's right. Here are your friends. Come and get them. Well, if they're daring us to mount a rescue, I'll take that action. All in. Alrighty, bets are on the table. We leave when you're ready. I'll be standing by. <laughs> All right, so after uh, the scene, she'll be back in control of Lightning and the others inside of the airship, the Limblum. And it seems now is our uh, cue to go and rescue Saz and Vanille, who are on board the Palamecia which is a huge airship governed by the Sanctum. Now, before we go any further, let me just tell you the Palamecia is going to be heavily guarded with enemies, so you're going to want to take your time to prepare. So if you did some CP grinding, then you should spend up your CP. Also, if you grinded for gil, you should have a good 50,000 or more gil to spend. So now would be a good time to upgrade... Uh, or buy some new accessories we're not going to really step into the upgrade yet but it is coming up shortly i'll let you guys know when but for now don't worry about upgrading your weapons just yet we got a little bit more stuff we have to cover before we can jump into that and for now i would just buy some better accessories and fill out everyone's crystarium so let's work on the crystarium first everyone can now um develop into stage six so let's start off with lightning. And first off, let's upgrade her commando roll. Even though we're not going to be using lightning as a commando, hardly. We will be using it eventually, but not right now. She's mainly going to be used as a ravenger. Well, for me, however you guys want to do it is up to you. But uh, I would highly recommend maxing out her commando roll because she can learn Scourge, which deals heavy damage with attack to target about to recover from stagger. Now you remember the smite ability wherever it does the same thing but in the air. So whenever you're in the air and the enemy is about to recover from stagger, lightning will use smite, which deals heavy damage uh, to the target in the air. 
Well, if you're on the ground and the enemy is about to recover from stagger, once you learn the Scourge ability, Lightning will use Scorch, which deals heavy damage to the target on the ground. So this is the same thing as Smite, except the difference is this is going to be on the ground where Smite is in the air. Finally, let's learn that roll level, which will make Lightning an all-around better commando. Once we've taken care of that, the next step is to max out her Ravenger roll. Now as long as you did some grinding at that spot with Saz and Vanille like I advised a couple episodes ago, you should have plenty of CP. I had over 50,000 so that should be more than enough to max out everyone's Crystarium. So let's go ahead and move on and upgrade her Ravenger roll and completely fill it out. She'll learn Arrow and Watera, and at the end, you can get that roll level, which will make her an even better Ravenger. And again, if you're wondering if you got everything there is, you can just, uh, wherever it says to choose which roll you want to develop in the Crystarium screen, if you look to the bottom left, it'll say the crystals for each roll, such as the Commando Crystals, and as you can see, I have two out of two roll level. 12 out of 12 ability, 21 out of 21 HP, 15 out of 15 strength, and 11 out of 11 magic crystals. So if you're wondering if you got everything and didn't miss nothing, instead of backtracking and looking over the whole Crystarium, you can simply look at this, and if there's something missing, you won't have the full amount that you're supposed to. So as you can see, we have everything for Commando, and everything for Ravenger. So now all that's left to do with Lightning is max out her Medic roll. So let's go ahead and do that now while we have the CP. Note that um, Lightning will be able to lear learn the Raise ability as a Medic, which is extremely useful because it revives an ally from KO. So you don't have to waste your Phoenix Downs. Also, she can learn the Renew ability, or Technique. Now, what the Renew Technique is, is it completely revives all allies from KO and restores their HP to full. Now, you may be thinking, wow, this is an excellent move, and it is. It's very, very useful, but the thing is, it's a Technique. So, like all Techniques, it's going to use Technical Points in order to use, meaning that you're not going to be able to use this constantly unless you have full TP. So just keep that in mind as a last resort whenever all the enemies are on the ground or all your allies are on the ground, you can now use Renew to revive them all. Finally at the end, learn that roll level, which increases her medic level to 3, making her an all around better medic. And we've completely maxed out Lightning. Now let's move on to Hope start off maxing out his Ravenger roll and if you have as, uh, about the same amount of CP as me then you should be able to max out everything but if you're short on CP and you're wondering which is the most um, effective roll to upgrade first I would highly recommend Ravenger while Synergist is good but Ravenger uh, is what we're primarily going to be using Hope as so the quicker you can max out his Ravenger roll, the faster he's going to be able to deal offensive magic to back you up. And along the Ravenger path, Hope will learn Overwhelm, which boosts the chain bonus effect of attacks for each ally targeting the same enemy, making it easier to stagger an opponent. And then at the end, you can get the roll level, making him a better Ravenger. Now we're going to talk about the Synergist. So if you're low on Crystarium points and you can only max out one of the three rolls or even two of the three rolls, I would highly suggest to start off maxing out Hope's Synergist roll. Mainly because he is a very good Synergist and he can put some buffs on all your characters during those tough fights.
So let's go ahead and uh, max out his synergist roll. And get the roll level at the end of that. Alright, so all that's left to max out is his Medic roll. Now, mech, Medic uh, Hope is a very good Medic, so increasing this will definitely help you out whenever you need to heal in battle. Hope and Vanille are the two best Medics in the game. He can learn Renew also. And finally get that roll level. Once you've maxed out Hope's Crystarium, let's work on Fang. Now Fang is probably one of the most important people you want to max out as she is the best commando you can use in the game. Stats wise. So the first thing we're going to max out will be the commando roll. Now she can learn very good abilities on her stage 6 Crystarium such as Scourge, Life Siphon, and Ravage. This is really going to help you out. Also you get a bunch of strength and HP crystals. And finally the roll level, making her a better commando. Next up let's focus on her sentinel roll. Now like snow, Fang can use the Sentinel roll, which is an excellent defensive roll. So if your characters are taking way too much damage and you need to heal in a hurry, switch to a Sentinel roll with Fang and she'll absorb all the damage and draw all the enemy attacks and greatly reduce them. So let's go ahead and max out her Sentinel roll. Finally, Let's work on her Sabotar role. Now this is very important. So if you're working on low CP, the two roles I would highly suggest to max out first are the Commando role and the Sabotar role. Now Sabotar is very important because it can inflict negative status ailments on the boss, such as Dispel, which removes target's most recent status enhancement. So if the boss has haste, you can remove it with Dispel. Curse, which lowers target's odds of interrupting actions and avoiding interruption of own. And Curse Gum, which does the same thing except hits more than one target. Finally, let's get that roll level. And we have everything maxed out for Fang. Lastly, let's go ahead and max out Snow. Now, I think Snow's a cool guy and the, you know he's really there for the story and he is a pretty good fighter as well and he's an excellent Sentinel, the best Sentinel by far. But uh, I hardly like using Snow, so if you guys like to use Snow, then go ahead and upgrade him. But I upgrade them just to keep them on everyone's level, but I hardly use snow. So I know that's probably crazy sounding, but I don't know. I just find that uh, there are better um, people out there that you can put in your party. Um, but if you are using snow, I would highly suggest to start off maxing out his commando role and his sentinel role. Because mainly his sentinel role, because he's the best sentinel in the game. So maxing that out will definitely give you an advantage with uh, with uh, Snow as a Sentinel. And he can learn some excellent uh, abilities as a Sentinel. It's too bad I hardly use him. missing an ability see this is why it's pretty important to uh, make sure that you check everything to make sure that you have everything oh there it is it's way down here 
Alright, so now we should have everything. Yep. And finally, let's max out his Ravenger roll. And again, he is missing a HP somewhere along the Ravenger roll. So we're going to have to backtrack and find out where that is. Here it is. Again, it's way down here. All right, so now let me double check and make sure I got everything. And I do. All right, so now that everyone's Crystarium is maxed out and up to date. Now let's talk about some equipment. First of all, I would go ahead and use the Magician's Mark onto, ma onto uh, Lightning to increase her magic and a Tungsten Bangle. For Hope, we can go ahead and rock two Tungsten Bangles to keep his HP high. And for Fang, I would put a Tungsten Bangle and a Brawler's Wristband. And we really don't need to worry about snow at this time. However, we can remove his accessories. And for weapons, I would stick with the bladed lance for Fang. The Vidon Vido Finner with uh, Hope. And the Gladius with Lightning. Until we start upgrading the weapons, this should be your main weapons that you have equipped and I'll let you guys know when there's better weapons you can equip alright so you can't set up any paradigms right now because we don't have a current party yet so after you've done all of your crystarium developing go ahead and uh, check the save point to the right now there's lots of new stuff to buy, such as holy water, painkiller, and mallet. So I suggest to get a couple painkillers from the shop and a couple mallets to update your inventory. Also there's some new weapons available, so if you missed any you can buy them now. And in Plutus's workshop, there's even better weapons you can buy. And finally, or most importantly, in the BMW Outfitters, there's all kinds of new accessories such as the Titan Bangle, which increases maximum HP by 200. The Brawler's Wristband, which increases strength by 50. The Shaman's Mark, which increases magic by 50. The Glass Orb, which increases slow resistance by 30%. And the Star Pendant, which increases poison resistance by 30%. So the only thing I would recommend to buy is the Shaman's Mark. Go ahead and buy one of those so that we can equip it to Hope. There's also um, some other amulets you can buy down at the magical moment shop such as the guardian's amulet and the watchman's amulet and there's new components to be found in the creature's comfort 
and there's some certain upgrading stones to be found in the mother load and finally there's even more components that can be bought at Lenora's garage so after you go accessory shopping if you did buy a shaman's mark go ahead and put that on to hope so that you can increase his magic up to 224 and after you've done all of your shopping and developing your characters go ahead and save your game and that's going to conclude this episode of let's play final fantasy 13 i'll see you guys next time where we head into the airship palamecia in order to save saz and vanille